And he was kind of wild. I couldn't tame him. Good morning again, y'all. Just gonna let the camera roll and see what I come up with. Now, most of you, if you've seen any of my other videos, y'all notice I'm wearing pretty much the same shirt in, in most of the episodes. And there's a reason for that, because normally I like to vlog on Saturdays and Sundays because that's kind of my downtime. However, um, I do have a side hustle on the weekends. So usually before I go into work for a couple hours, I'll pull the camera out and, and do what I need to do. Easy money, and I like it because I just talk to people, give out coupons, and pet dogs. And probably one day, there's no probably about it, there is one day I'm going to have a place with, with a little bit of land, and I'm going to have pigs and goats and chickens and stuff like that. And speaking of chickens, actually, I used to raise chickens when I was a kid back in elementary school. Uh, I was in 4-H and daddy bought me 40 chickens. Now these weren't the cute chickens that you find in like the hardware store or in the magazine. They were actually, these were the ones that you would buy to raise or, or you would raise to uh, for meat uh, because they'd get really big and like if you ever see the chicken trucks when it's full of them white chickens that's what they were. Now, we never killed or and ate any of my chickens because they were more like pets than anything. Every one of them was tame. Now, eventually I did get a rooster uh, that was given to somebody from the church, but he was kind of wild and I couldn't really, he, I couldn't tame him. But all my other chickens, you could walk up to them, pick them up, love on them, whatever. I loved it. I love chickens. I don't know why. You know, they're stupid, but I love them. Uh, they're, they're fascinating to watch uh, as far as, you know, that's just the way I feel. Um, and I actually had a few that were like pets, like truly like pets. Um, the one I named her Honey, and I could stand from the back door of the house and just go, Honey! And she would come running just like a dog every single time. I mean, she, she was truly a pet, and she'd follow me around, and I'd pack her all over the place. And there were a couple of other ones that were kind of like in that small pack that when I would call for Honey, it was Honey and Lady. And of course the roost would come running too because they were running off. But it was very interesting raising chickens. And then I tried a few other times to raise them and then by then I'd gotten older and I wasn't willing uh, or able to spend nearly as much time with them to make sure that they would be as tame as my first batch of chickens were. But I just find them to be fun. I think birds are fun. I, I, eventually I want a some type of bird, you know, parent, whatever, that can talk. I want one to have a conversation with. Because uh, I'm, I'm hooked on watching uh, the clips from Eric the Legend, and, which is some kind of bird, and they're down in Australia. And Now, he swears a little bit uh, and has a little bit of a nasty mouth, but it's just hilarious because you can't tell me that those birds don't know they shouldn't be saying some of those things. But you know, on the weekends, like I said, I, I'm around animals all the time, and I've really seen some really sad things. Like, I've watched... There'll be a pet adoption, and someone just come dump their dog there. And the dog looks just as healthy as it can be, but they're just like, I don't want it anymore. Or, I, and this happened about a month ago, I ran into this lady, she was just as nice as she could be. And had a sweet little dog, and we were talking, and the reason why she was in there, she was waiting for someone to show up from the shelter, because she was surrendering her dog. And then in the conversation, she starts talking about these other dogs she wants. But I'm like, you've already got a dog, like, what is the deal? Why are you getting rid of this one? And she's like, well... I, I move in somewhere that I, doesn't allow pets. Okay. And one thing I've noticed, I've been doing this for a little over a year now. There's four types of pet parents. You've got the pet parents that are sweet as a Georgia peach, and so is their dog. Or you have the ones where the, the pet owner is sweet, but the dog getting, or the pet parent is an a-hole, and the dog is just so sweet. And in those cases, I feel more sorry for the dog than anything else. Then the last one you have is the dog is an a-hole, and so is the parent, the pet parent. And I know some people don't like pet parent. They'd rather owner, whatever, you know. Um, but in this industry, we call pet owners, pet parent. And I didn't start calling people that until I started doing this. But it's just fascinating watching people with their dogs. And it's so funny watching some people walk around like their dog is just so happy-go-lucky and they want to check out everything. And then the owner is like, they're on a mission. It's like, why'd you even bring your dog in here? Because you're basically just dragging them along 
by the leash and sometimes they are literally dragging with the dogs like i don't want to go yet i want to look at this or, or what have you but I, I really don't know what else i can say right now because my, i just checked and my battery's about to die so that's my random thoughts of the day it wasn't it was very short it was very brief uh, but i'm sure i'll have more to come but y'all enjoy your day enjoy your weekend or whatever day it is just make the best of it and, and remember, don't take things so seriously because we're, we're all only on this earth for just a short period of time. And so let's not get our panties in a wad over stupid stuff, especially the crap we see on Facebook. All right, y'all have a good one.